Hi, today we've got this external hard disk. Um, when you plug it into your computer, uh, you get a signal coming up that uh, it's an unrecognized device or the computer does not read from the hard drive at all. Okay, so um, two possible reasons for this. Um, something's gone wrong with the actual hard disk itself and um, then we've got, a, we've got a serious problem or sometimes there's just something wrong with the actual the actual box, the actual case. Okay, so um, what we do in this situation, we open up the box, we get the hard drive out, we connect it directly to a, a computer through the motherboard, we test the drive. If the drive works, then all we have to do is replace the the actual the actual box. So um, all external hard drives just have a normal hard drive inside including the the smaller ones okay so and there you go so inside here we have a we have a Seagate 320 gigabytes okay this is a SATA hard drive we just remove the mounting screws And then you go. So you can now connect this to your computer. You need a set of cable, set of power cable. So you need to get yourself another set of cable. Connect up your your set All right, connect up your power. This is going to be your your secondary drive to the PC. You've got your original drive, and. Uh, that's basically it. So when you start the computer, your windows will open. It should detect new hardware, new disk. And you can, from my computer, first see if you can read the disk. Or otherwise, depending on the, the model of disk, Seagate, Western Digital, whatever. From their website, you can download their diagnostic utility. Run uh, diagnostics and just ensure that the computer, that the hard disk itself is in... Um, in good health. Uh, if this disc proves to be healthy, all you've got to do get yourself another another case, make sure that it's SATA, 20 bucks and um, one, you don't lose all your data and two, you've got a relatively cheap fix. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's always a fix.